What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're back out in the bait laboratory, but it's a little bit of a different type of video today. We're gonna be doing a six Sense unboxing. Um, we got some brand new stuff in there that I just got in the mail this week and I wanted to open it up with you guys. All right, so we're gonna open up this box. Slide it right on open. And uh, then we're gonna see what we got inside. Just a little preview. Ooh, preview. <laughs> so in this unboxing, we're gonna do it a little bit different than some unboxings that I've seen in the past. I am gonna show you the baits that I'm using, but I'm gonna show you the baits, tell you why I chose those colors, tell you what water clarities these different colors are gonna work in. So that way, not only are you seeing these baits, but you're also gonna know when and where to fish these baits. So inside the box, I've got some different crankbaits and some different swim jigs. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna organize them real quick so that way you guys don't have to f see me fumble through picking out the different colors. I'm gonna organize them on the GCI outdoor table that we're doing this video on right now. So that way I can um, make this video a little bit quicker and a little bit easier for you guys to follow. Okay, so everything is organized. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab these first three crankbaits right here. And what we've got right here is Crush 50Xs in the green pumpkin gill color. And why I picked this color is because I think that this color right here is going to be an awesome, awesome stained water color. Anytime they're on bluegill, right now, especially post spawn in a lot of places around the country, um, they've been spawning here in California, they've been spawning out in Texas. I just heard a, a podcast with Ott Defoe and he caught a bunch of post spawn fish at Rayburn. So that's when the bluegill are definitely gonna become something that you're gonna wanna be targeting. Uh, bluegill are gonna be trying to go after the fry, which are the brand new fish that just spawned from the you know, males and females that were on the beds. And then you're gonna have males around those, those fry. And then you're gonna have some females not too far away either. And those bluegill are gonna be coming by trying to eat the fry. So anytime you have bluegill around chasing that fry, you're gonna wanna start throwing some bluegill patterns as well. And that's where this crow, this green pumpkin gill comes into play. Another great bluegill color, and this is the first time I've ever bought this color, and I wish I would've bought it sooner. And that's the Crust 50X in the Gillikin color. This Gillikin color is an awesome, awesome bluegill imitation. I've been using bluegill spawn a lot, and um, I have some of those already. That's one of my favorite bluegill patterns that Six Sense offers, but what we got today is the Gillikin color. It's a little bit of a greener uh, bluegill presentation than what the bluegill spawn color is, but I definitely like the, the lines that go down the side of the bait. I like that pearl blue that's inside of it, and I like how the green fades as it goes down. I definitely think these are gonna get munched on by some, some of those bass that are gonna be chasing some, or protecting some of that fry. Um, if you're pre-spawn anywhere as well, or if they're actually on the beds but you can't see them, you could definitely cover water throwing a uh, square bill crankbait like that, run it through those beds and stuff like that, and those females, hopefully for you, because the females are gonna be bigger, are gonna be on that bait, come over, smash it, and you're gonna put some fish in the boat, bring them to the bank, wherever you're, whatever you're fishing out of, I definitely think that the, these crushed 50s and those bluegill patterns are really gonna do the trick for you. So sticking with the bluegill pattern, I just saw, sh tried to shoot this sequence a minute ago and totally dumped everything down on the ground, so I had to pick it up and we're back. But um, what I'm gonna show you next is the Divine Swim Jig. I've got them in the baby bream color in half ounce and in 3 8 ounce. These are by far my favorite bluegill patterns that Six Sense offers in these swim jigs. Um, a swim jig is a great shad imitation, great bluegill imitation, depending on water colors, how you're gonna determine what color swim jig to throw. Uh, if it's dirty water, black and blue, um, clear water, that's when your shad patterns and your bluegill patterns like this one are gonna come into play. Six Sense has a ton of different great colors. This just happens to be my favorite when it comes to the bluegill patterns, but they have other ones too that you might like better than this one. So definitely go check it out. But um, the swim jig is, is a great bait in a lot of different scenarios, but for the time of year that we're in right now, I definitely think this is gonna be a great post-spawn bait, just kind of just like these uh, square bales are, because in, in most of the country, 
or at least the southern part of the country. So I'm in San Diego and basically anything all the way down on the southern part of the country all the way to Florida is going to be spawning, post-spawn, and maybe some lingering pre-spawn fish. Most of the fish have probably already spawned. So that's when you're going to be wanting to target some of those bluegill baits that are going to be chasing the fry, like I mentioned a second ago. So that's why I got these. I'm hoping that when I get back out to Sam Rayburn at the end of the month, that I can throw this through the grass, I can throw throw this you know, through, through the different types of cover that Rayburn has, depending on water level. Maybe I'll be throwing it around some bushes and stuff like that. And I would imagine that a lot of those fish are going to be post-spawned. They're going to be protecting that fry so I can maybe catch some of the males protecting the fry, throw it out a little bit off the bank a little bit, maybe into some of the hydrilla, and then get some of those bigger females that are now feeding after they just spawn. And um, hopefully that'll end up being, you know, a pattern that I can run and find some different areas with some quality fish. The next base we're going to look, look at are more Crush 50Xs. These are in the Threadfin Shad color. Threadfin Shad is slowly becoming one of my favorite colors that Six Sense makes. It has some scales on it. It definitely has a nice bluish, greenish color back. It has a nice little line across the, the side of the bait and then it fades into that white shad onto the belly of this bait. But why I chose to go with the Threadfin Shad color is because the bass around where I live feed on shad pretty much 365 days out of the year. Obviously, they're going to feed on crawdads sometimes, and obviously, they're going to feed on bluegill at times. But you can always get them to eat a shad bait around here for the most part. Um, I've been throwing the Threadfin Shad color in some of the deep diving crankbaits like the C20s, the C25s, and um, I've been getting some bites on that Threadfin Shad color. What I usually have thrown is the wild shad color, and that's an awesome color too. It's still probably my favorite color, but when you get bit on a different color, you definitely want to get some of those baits in that color as well, or get some other baits in that same color as well. So that's the main reason why I got the Threadfin Shad color. Um, I, I definitely think that the wild shad is a great complement to this. They're very similar, but this has less chartreuse in it. The line that goes down the side is more of like a golden color rather than the chartreuse that the wild shad color has but if you got either one of those colors you're going to be happy and they're both going to catch you fish for sure okay so the next color that we got is more of a dirty water stained water color and what it is is i got five of them and there's a reason why i got five and i bought the wrong color to be honest with you i thought i was buying a different color but i ended up messing up in a good way because i definitely still think that this color is definitely going to be something that's going to play it's definitely going to be one that i use and it's definitely going to accomplish what i was trying to accomplish with the other color and that is a square bill in the dirty water in a chartreuse color this is the 50x in a chartreuse spank color i've got five of them because when i was out at lake texoma i ended up breaking off a few of them uh, whether they got caught on um caught on the bottom or something, but I ended up breaking some of them off, so I needed to replenish that stash, and I ended up getting the chartreuse spank. I thought that it was the color that I had in the tackle box already. I caught some fish on that color out at uh, Lake Texoma, but um, this color, on the, uh, the color that I bought here has a little bit different hue up on top of the top of the bait. The one that I was throwing at Texoma had a much more blue top to it. But the chartreuses are very similar that are on the sides of it. I do like how this fades down on the bottom into like a pearly white chartreusey color on the belly of this bait. And I, I, I do like that, the, the back on it as well. I think it's a very good color. And I definitely think that this color is going to play very well when it comes to dirty water. Uh, early in the year potentially too. But I just needed to make sure that I had some of these chartreuse colored crankbaits for when I'm in those situations with that dirty water. Don't get it a ton here where I live. But when I do travel around, you're going to run into that from time to time. So I need to have them on hand in order to be ready for whatever conditions are going to be uh, facing me. Okay, so the final few baits that we have in today's unboxing are more Crush 50Xs. And they are in the Chrome Truce Shad. Um, a buddy of mine told me about this color. And I hadn't thrown it yet. And he was like, yeah, it's one of my favorites. He asked me if I had any. And I didn't because I hadn't bought this color yet. So on his recommendation, I got these, and this is like a chrome and blue kind of color, but it has, you know, a chartreuse line in the middle. It has some darkened gills on it, which I think are pretty cool. And then that chrome color fades into a white, 
with a chartreuse hue on the bottom. I think that this is going to be a great color in stained water. I think it's going to be a great year-round color as well. I think that this is going to play in clear water too because it's going to give that flash off in the clear water. Uh, sometimes you definitely want to go a little bit more translucent colors when in the clear water, but I don't think that this is overly bright. I don't think it's overly chrome to where you couldn't throw it in clear water, but I definitely think it's going to play in that clear water into the stained water. I think that if you go into the dirty water, that's when you're going to start getting into your black and your blues and then into your chartreuse patterns as well. But I definitely, definitely like this color. It's going to be one that I keep in the tackle box all the time, probably for sure. And uh, I'm really glad that I got that recommendation from the friend of mine. And I'm really happy with this color. And I think that if you added it to your tackle box, it's definitely going to play well for you as well. Before we end today's video, I want to just do a little quick recap on the different colors and why I chose them. We got our shad colors right here. Those are going to be great in your clear water. Those are going to be great pretty much year round as long as your lakes have shad in them. All of mine do. So the shad patterns are always going to be a staple. We get into the green pumpkin colors, your perch colors depending upon season. That's how I like to do it. Now, if you don't have the shad in your lakes, then you're gonna to wanna to go with these colors a lot more often. But post-spawn is a great time to throw the bluegill patterns. That's where these swim jigs are gonna come into play. That's where these green pumpkins, these, these bluegill pattern uh, crush 50s and the square bills are gonna really come into play. And then we have the chartreuse colors over on this side, which are gonna be great for that dirty water shad imitations and bluegill imitations what you're trying to accomplish with that bright color is just giving the fish the ability to track down that bait you're going to get the rattle from the crush 50x you're going to get that bright pattern and you're going to get the vibration and that's what's going to enable that fish to feel that feel that crankbait going by it's going to hear that crankbait going by and then it's going to be able to see that crankbait and that's where those bright patterns come into play so I hope today's video was valuable for you guys. I hope you guys learned something. I hope it helps you to learn how to pick the different tackle, when to use some of this stuff, and I appreciate you guys watching. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. See ya!